To begin using the AV system, you'll notice that there's no light on the power button. First, to begin, press the power button, and at this time the flashing light means that the system is booting on. Once the system is completely powered on, now the audio controls will work. If you want to raise or lower the volume, you simply turn the knob back and forth. To mute all audio, you press the mute button. A blue light means that the audio is currently muted. To unmute, press it again. Now to power on the screens, there's a power button for each one. So I'm going to power on the central projector, the side projector, and the LCD display. Now for video routing, you have two selections. You have a dual screen set setting or an individual screen. There's two outputs currently coming out of the video system. One of the outputs is dedicated to the central screen, which is the individual screen, and the other two outputs are for the two side screens, which in some classrooms are two LCD panels, in other classrooms it's a projector and an LCD panel. You simply select which output you want it to go to and then to select which device you'd like. There's an HDMI port on the front of the rack which corresponds with this HDMI button. There's a Blu-ray player. In order to use the Blu-ray player, make sure that the power is on. The remote control for the Blu-ray player is the Sony remote. There's also a remote control for the Apple uh, for the Apple TV. Apple TV is going to be located on this top shelf within the rack. And it, turn it on. Just press the OK button. And then make sure that light is visible before you start selecting it. Otherwise, the image will be muted. So I'm going to pick dual screen, Apple TV, and now is sending the Apple TV to the dual screens. If I want to send another video to the individual screens, right now it's currently selected for HDMI, but I'll pick Blu-ray player. So now we have the Apple TV on the corner screens and the Blu-ray player on the center individual screen. The same process goes whether you're muting the video using the HDMI input on the front or any of the other inputs. The system will automatically turn itself off at 2 a.m. every night if it's left on by any chance. If you need to shut off the entire system you can either individually select the power buttons for each one and that will power down all of them or I'm going to leave the LCD display on. So these blinking lights mean that they're cooling down or warming up. Once they're done processing their change, then you can change them back to their other state. So you can't change the power while it's cooling down to turn on and vice versa. Once you're ready to power off the system, you simply hold down the power button for three seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, and it will shut off the entire system. The flashing light is a cool down mode as it shuts down the sequencer for the rack. You can't power it back on until this is done flashing. Once it's in the off mode, to turn it back on, 
you press it one time again, then it will cycle back on. <laughs>